Hi everyone, this is Jason, the headlight guy. Uh, tonight I'm going to be going over some uh, LED projector options that are available right now. Uh, we have some OEM headlights over here, which are a little bit more difficult to retrofit. And then we have the more bolt-in style uh, aftermarket options that are available right now. Uh, this right here, these are Coito by LED projectors. Uh, they're pretty hard to find and they can be expensive depending uh, how many are on the market and the availability. Now uh, this one right here has been modified and it does have a clear lens swap. This one right here is stock. Over here we have a Toyota Corolla LED projector. This is a low beam only LED projector. And when we get to the aftermarkets, uh, the most commonly found one is uh, the one you see on eBay, iJDM, Toy, Alibaba. Uh, we'll see how that one works. Now uh, here we have a profile uh, LED projector. Uh, I grabbed this one from the retrofit source. Uh, they may be similar branded ones on the market. And over here we have the new Morimoto MLED. And uh, as soon as we get a little bit of darkness, uh, we will fire these up and do some comparisons. All right, here's the setup. Uh, we are 32 feet away from the garage. The garage is 25 feet wide. I have five foot increment marked on the wall, and then I have dead center marked on the wall as well. Uh, you will notice that there might be a little light in the center. Uh, that is my lux meter, which I'll be taking readings throughout uh, this testing. So first up, here is the Toyota. It is the dimmest of the bunch. It is decently wide. Nice little center hot spot. Still far better than a halogen in my opinion. I'm not sure if you're able to see it, but you're gonna see some, uh, some lines up top. And that's usually resulted in color flicker. All the way to the wall, that's 25 feet. Go all the way to that wall, show the 25 feet. Next up, we have the Coito by LED. Uh, this one has a lot of foreground to offer. Uh, I find this one very attractive. But the foreground, I think, is one of the best. We'll move it all the way 25 feet over. And then we'll move it 25 feet over. It was very impressive. Let's uh, activate the high beam. You still keep all that great foreground. Nice hot spot. That is one very impressive projector. Next up, we have the Coito with the clear lens swap. I think this one might be my favorite. That color band is just awesome. Super sharp cutoff, very intense. Nice and wide. Even with the modifications, you see the foreground really hasn't changed much. Uh, you did lose the little, the little fangs that were at the bottom. 
But yes, very nice. Let's activate the high beam. Just a bit better than the stock. Plenty of usable light. I just love that thick color though. Alright, next up we have the iJDM toy, eBay projector. Uh, this one has a it's a it's a good hot spot on there. But the width it just seems to to die down. So we're at 25 feet and it's it's really falling off, you know, halfway into the beam. But it does have a very, very nice hot spot. You know, a lot of people are into the color. It does have some nice color to it. You know, it's not absolutely horrible, but it's I, I don't feel it's the best. Go ahead and uh, activate the high beam. It does deliver a very nice hot spot. That could uh, help you see quite a bit. I will say it is uh, the most compact projector, so if you're working in tight quarters, uh, this this would not be a horrible solution for uh, you know for lighting if you're just limited on space. Next up we have the profile projector. Uh, this one is very nice. It's got a decent hot spot. It does carry the color to the edges. It's got good width. It's definitely uh, performing better than the IJDM toy. It does offer a good amount of foreground. Let's see if we can activate the slide beam. Bumped the wrong connector. The high beam, uh, it's got a good hot spot. Uh, there's some, there's some shadowing. It's kind of, I don't know how you'd say it. It's almost spotting. Kind of confusing, but it does have a nice center, center hot spot, and it still carries the foreground. I find this to be a very good performing projector though, minus, you know, the high beam. It's, uh, I would, not in my taste. Uh, I drive a lot of dark roads, so I think the, some of the shadowing could be, uh, possibly disorienting to me. But I would recommend this projector over the IJDM toy and the Corolla. Next up, we have the Morimoto MLED. And very similar to the, the profile. 
does have a very very intense hot spot in the center it does have decent width as always Morimoto tends to favor their color band quite a bit and this one offers a nice nice color band foreground foreground is a uh, fairly decent and if you want a cool little trick it does display an M uh, if that is not your thing uh, a little piece of foil tape will cover that up and uh, you know won't distract you some find it kind of neat I do as well but it's always not for everyone so it's easily fixable and it will not hinder performance if you do put a piece of foil tape over that Check out the width. Check to the corner. Take it to the corner. I really like that projector. Uh, Actually, I'm gonna throw this up against. Where's the high beam at? Yeah, check out the high beam first. I got to cooperate. I do like this high beam more than uh, the profiles. It doesn't uh, seem doesn't doesn't have the the shadowy spots in it as much. It does have a uh, does remind me of the D2S 4.0 when it comes to the high beam. effect with the get the M in there and deactivate that and then we're gonna go back to the profile I want to do a side-by-side -side of these two profile you can see is definitely uh, warmer in color and I want to take the profile right up to the top of that window and I want to compare the foregrounds I say the profile is more like in the 45 to 5,000 Kelvin range somewhere in there still a little bit on the warmer side it's right at the top of the window and it's foreground's coming right to the bricks. So we're gonna bring up the MLED and see how that does in comparison. Right to the top of the window. The Morimoto's right more more towards the 5500 Kelvin. And let's just see if we can some new connectors all right we got profile on top Morimoto on the bottom and we'll put Morimoto on top and then profile on the bottom
very good competing uh, projectors, I will say. I don't think you can go wrong with either one. But I like color, so I'm going to put this up against uh, Koito, since Kyoto had, uh, had a nice color band, and we'll just see how that one does. Very similar width. And we're going to turn this into a three way competition between the standard. Uh, I have a, a mini D2S 4.0, uh, Morimoto 5500 Kelvin bulb. Uh, this has been warmed up for about 10 minutes now, so we should have no problem getting uh, any color out of this. No warm up. You know the width. So. Up top, we have the Koito. In the middle, we have the MLED. And on the bottom, we have the D2S 4.0. And this is being powered by a 35 watt ballast. 